Sign up today for a seven day free trial at alerts.chartguys.com. Hey everyone, doing a quick check in before we head into the end of the stock market trading day where most of my attention is. But right now we have Bitcoin in a tightening two hour time frame, and we were looking for the equilibrium. As soon as we saw this bull break straight into a bear break, and as soon as this bounce started to get significant, we said, okay, keep an eye out for an equilibrium. So we've got our high of the bull move. The bear bots jumped on that bull break, drove the price down a very quick three plus percent. Got a lower high, higher low, lower high, double bottom, and now we're just trading sideways. So again, this is the two hour chart. We could technically stay within this chart, this, this range for another six to eight hours even, but I would definitely be expecting a break sometime in the near term future. And we would look for a volume spike to be associated with that break. So that's what we're looking at for Bitcoin. The daily time frame is still very much in a downtrend. It's clear where right now anything under 9,150 will maintain the daily lower high pattern. The only positive for the bulls is that bear break saw no follow through. So they need to now see bull follow through from the bear break, but we don't have that yet. So again, I am not interested in Bitcoin as a bull as long as we are in a daily lower high pattern. If we can change that, then I will shift my interest and I'll be back to being interested in Bitcoin again. But until that happens, patiently waiting for the weekly higher low to be found and there's no indication that it is found yet. In the meantime, while we are trading sideways, if you remember the last video that we did, we were looking at NEO and BNB. They highlighted, we highlighted both of those names because of their daily tight patterns that were the most clear. There was a lot of clarity. Bull break on BNB was at 2094 and we made it all the way up to 2180. So a solid little four and a half percent bull move at this point. And at, we're looking at the hourly consolidation. If we lose the support of 2123 with an hourly lower high and lower low, it's actually 2122. But if we lose that hourly support, we zoom out and we look for the four hour higher low to form on Binance. So multiple four hour inside bars as we're trading sideways after the daily bull break has already occurred. And now anything on the daily time frame for Binance above 1926 is a higher low. So again, just an example, the best bullish entries for risk and reward in the sector continue to be fishing off of support rather than buying bull breaks. If you bought the bull break, yes, there's an opportunity to scalp a couple percent in there, but look at the support of 1910. We bounced above it by less than 1%. That entry anywhere 1940 to 1926, 1950 to 1926, fishing off that support. Let's just say for argument's sake, you got in at 1950, your stop is under 1910. So you're risking about 43 cents. The reward at that point, the, to see what we've gone up to, we had a, what, a $2 reward. So 40 cent risk to $2 reward. You're looking at a five to one ratio of the reward potential versus the risk. Looking at NEO on the daily time frame. The bull break here was 1175. Again, buying that bull break has resulted in plenty of profits but if you entered on the daily higher low, fishing off support, support was 1014. We bounced off 1035. So again, holding it by just under 2% uh, and huge reward, very worthwhile gains on this bull break and follow through. 1345 is still resistance on NEO. You can see Binance has broken all of its resistance nearby. So a little bit of a different setup there. And let's see the NEO consolidation on the one hour time frame. Higher low is established, fairly similar to Binance in the sense of how that hourly consolidation has taken place. And if we break 1277 support, then we zoom out and we look for the four hour higher low to try and form. And you can see it's almost multiple inside bars, just like Binance. We did get a little bull break by a couple pennies just a moment ago. So why I'm highlighting those first is because we now have ETH and LTC doing the same sideways daily tightening range. So here is the daily time frame for Ethereum. Higher lows and lower highs. We just had a bounce off of support. Support was 180.71. We held it by about $1.50. And now bulls are trying to make their way up to resistance of 192. Make sure there is a volume spike when there's a break. If we don't see the volume spike, it's going to be a potential fake out. So we need a bull volume spike more than the 20 day average volume and a break of 192 to get over this level. The ETH BTC chart is still remaining strong. Multiple daily inside bars just broke bullish. We have not topped out yet. And the weekly chart is still marching towards two, three to change the weekly trend if that level does break. 
So keep an eye on ETH. Best case scenario is a bull break of the Bitcoin pairing and a bull break of the USD daily equilibrium. Here it is on the 12 hour time frame. If you like a little bit more detail, and we're expecting a break sometime within the next three days, probably heading into this weekend, we'll get a little bit of action. So Litecoin is also in a daily equilibrium. So we have our daily higher low, our high and another higher low. You could also actually make the argument that this is a head and shoulders pattern. So let's look at both scenarios. Scenario one is the bulls can hold 58.68 and make their way back up to 66.19 resistance. Scenario number two is we hold 58.68 and bounce, but the bulls fail to get up to that resistance level, which would give us this head and shoulders setup. So bears can potentially be top fishing $66, looking for that right shoulder to form if we do bounce from here. Scenario number three is we lose the daily uptrend by breaking 58.68 from here with no bounce. And that means zoom out and look for a weekly higher low to try and form compared to 59.60. So remember bigger picture, we're looking for monthly higher lows on Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, a lot of names, but we don't have weekly trend changes yet. And for Litecoin to change its weekly trend, we would have to consolidate, lose the daily uptrend, hold 47.22, and then break the top of this move, which is currently 66.19. So if we lose the daily higher low pattern, we zoom out to the weekly chart and Binance, or I should say Bitcoin, is already seeing this weekly consolidation that we are not yet seeing in Ethereum and Litecoin because their daily uptrends are still intact. LTC BTC has been consolidating on the daily time frame after a significant bull move. So we're gonna be looking for a daily higher low to form anything above 6569. So that's what we're watching. ETH and LTC tightening ranges, which have our attention after what we saw Binance and NEO do. XRP is still weak. The bears still have favor here. It had the biggest bear break on its daily time frame, And we did just drop to a lower high and lower low. Not a ton of follow through on the lower low, but anything under 2848 is a daily lower high. And just like Bitcoin, as long as we're in a daily downtrend, that's all that has my attention. And we are looking at the bulls trying to hold 25 as a support level. And last link, big bull break. Wasn't a tightening daily range, but it's certainly still a daily uptrend. 261 was support. We bounced off of 267 and then saw a big time breakout. There's the volume spike. That's how you know it's a real believable bull break when that kind of volume is behind it. Highest volume in weeks, but we have not broken 310 yet. It is a double top at that level. So looking at it on the hourly chart, if we fail to break 310 and lose short-term support of 294, that's going to be a bit more worrisome for the bulls about that double top rejection. From there, we would zoom out and look for a four hour higher low, but that's just going to make bulls a little bit more nervous, make bears a little bit more confident to top fish. So bulls want to take out that 310 resistance, the sooner the better. So some major altcoins seeing some big bull breaks over the last few days. And the question is, will the other altcoins like Ethereum and Litecoin follow along? And how is Bitcoin going to break from this two hour time frame, We'll get a lot of those answers shortly. Bitcoin two hour time frame should break first. Then we'll be watching to see ETH and LTC for their daily breaks. And we'll see if the four hour consolidation can remain healthy on Link, NEO and BNB, the three lead bulls on these charts at this point. So establish your game plan for LTC and ETH. If you're going to look to trade any kind of break of this tightening range, and we will check back in. And by the time we check back in, we will probably get some breaks of these tightening ranges. So hope you're well. Ending it here with a bit of Colorado from six months ago. We got our first little snowfall here yesterday. So it reminded me of this Colorado trip from six months ago. And I will see you all soon. Do good things. Have a good day.